What's up? I'm back again. It's Julie the Eat here, back in our video. Uh, as you can see, I'm doing yet another unboxing. Um, I know that I said I was going to get around to doing that M9 video, which don't worry, it's still coming along. I'm most definitely going to make that video. Uh, it's just, I was going to make the video sooner, though I end up getting my hands on this right here, which I thought would be a nice piece to kind of include in that video, even though it's not necessarily anything related to the M9 besides the fact that it actually kind of goes in part with the hist like the developmental history of it in a way, as in, like, it was kind of involved in the whole 16mm mask thing. But um, today, as you can see, I got a mask to unbox. So, I guess, you know, let's just get into it. So, um, I'm going to crack this baby open here, because I really am excited to get, you know, open this up here, since uh, it's been probably like two weeks since I originally ordered this. It shipped out a bit later than, uh, you know, I was hoping for, but it, you know, it's still here, so I guess I can't really complain. So, um, I guess as I'm unboxing this, you know, I, I do plan on making a video on this real soon, as well as my M9 video, you know? I feel like I don't need to delay any of this any further. So, you know, uh, I thought I'd just do this as a half update video, since you guys are probably, uh, you know, like, why did you disappear for another month? And that's just because this didn't show up. I was hoping this would show up earlier, and then also I got sick here recently. Um, it, so I, I'm sorry if I sound a bit nasally or, you know, kind of just congested here a bit, um, because I just got over, like, a sickness of some sort. So, anyways, I guess we'll get this thing opened up here. All right, so we got some styro... We got some, just some, you know, packaging here. Oh, shit, we got our... Got our mask here. All right. Got. As you can see, I got a snout mask. Ooh, yeah, it's in pretty nice condition too. All things considered. Bit of cracking right there. That's nothing major. I consider this pretty decent condition, really. Um, flip the harness around here. All right, harness is in pretty decent condition. Yeah, sweet. This thing's in nice condition. What's the date on this? Ooh, February 1941 by Goodyear. That's nice. Um, we got a lot number right there. Got our canister. Let's see. But I don't I don't know if I can get this off here. It's kind of stuck on there. Yeah, there's a lot of friction holding that on there. I'm just going to get this out here. Alright, we got our carrier. Um, don't worry, I'll give you guys a better close-up here after I get all this stuff, you know, out of here. But we got our, our carrier. It's got some rust on it, and sadly it looks like, yeah, the waist strap is broke on there. But I was prepared for this, and uh, let's see, where is it? I bought another replacement carrier for it. So, um, anyways, I'm going to look in the carrier here and make sure that we don't got anything just laying in here. Alright, we got some anti-dim cloth, it would appear. We got two con two containers of it. We got the later type and the earlier type, it would appear. Let's look in the pouches, make sure nothing in here. You know, because you never know, there could be more stuff. Alright, doesn't look like there is. Looks like that's probably where some of the stuff came from, was there. Alright. Alright, there is nothing else in the carrier, so the carrier is empty. Set that off to the side here. Or actually, you know what, I'm going to check this real quick, let's make sure- oh! That's cool, there's an issue stamp on there, L0133. So this was issued, that's pretty neat. Um, there is one crack on the face piece, it's a stress crack. Uh, it's nothing too major actually. Looks like it was just folded incorrectly in storage and it caused a little bit of a crack to go and occur. But otherwise, it's in pretty nice condition. I'll have to show that up here a bit closer here in a second, but I'm going to see if I can unadjust this harness a bit real quick. This has got some wacky buckles on it, the head harness on this mask. Well, well crap, the harness is still flexible too. This thing's in nice condition actually. Um, I, for whatever reason, I see a lot of these things are in pretty poor condition, like they're usually very cracked. Sure, this one might have one kind of half deep crack, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to end up getting this thing cleaned up, and it looks like it'll clean up pretty well, all things considered. 
Um, let's see, it's dated February 1941, which is actually really pretty early for, um, you know, one of these masks. This might have been a training mask at one point, for what I can tell. Um, you see, I got this right here. This is my training mask. This is dated November 1940 by Goodyear, so these are a few months apart. All right, um, that, the head harness, again, is in very nice condition. This, this thing is in really nice condition besides just that small crack on the mask there on the top. Um, again, it doesn't really bother me that much because the condition of this mask is in actually really, really good overall condition otherwise. All right, we got the interior. Uh, nose cup is, ne is neoprene. It's a neoprene nose cup. What's it dated? Let's see. It looks like it says 1945. Um, I don't got a flashlight or anything on me, so I'm just gonna have to see if I can get this positioned correctly. It's in a cushionette nose cup, and what's it dated? Looks like this. Yeah. What, what the hell? Oh, that's that's actually pretty late. It says last week of December 1945. Um. Yeah, that's that's what it says. All the dots are filled in, and it says last week of December 1945. That's kind of interesting. Nose cup's in decent condition. Nothing wrong with it. It's got both the nose cup valve discs intact, and it's not heavily deformed. It's pretty cool. All right. Let's see, yeah, that, that. Yeah, the only thing unfortunate is that there's that crack there on the one side of the face piece. There's like it's just stress cracking from being stored improperly, but it's not too deep. So again, I'm not going to be too incredibly worried about it because overall this face piece is in really nice condition, and I think. Uh, just this, you know, like, just the minor cracking on the top of the face piece there isn't really going to really be too much of a worry for anything necessarily. Anyways, I'm going to see if I can get this canister off. I don't know, it looks like it might be stuck on there pretty hard. Um, I don't know. Yeah, um, yeah, just, I guess, kind of there. Yeah, kind of just, see, come on. I don't know if I'm gonna get this one off. I think it, I might have to do a bit of something else to get it to come off here, because it is indeed kind of stuck. <clears throat> come on. Oh, there we go, I got it. Got the canister to come off here. Ooh yeah, our valve assembly's in nice condition. Yep, the gasket's still there. Valve's in nice condition. Canister looks good. Yeah, it's still got the plug on the other end of the canister, so that's kind of funny. Um, is there a date on this canister? Doesn't look like it. FT2653. It's interesting stamps. I don't really see anything else there. It almost looks like there might have been... Uh... Actually, that looks like just ink roll-off. I don't know what's going on there, but... Whatever. So, um, anyways, I think I should probably show you what all I got here, since you guys probably, you know, it's the reason why you clicked on this video, most likely, is you saw it was an unboxing video and you wanted to watch me unbox this damn thing. So, get up here and I'll show you the mask, and then I'll have to go clean this up, and then in the next video you'll probably see it's in way better condition. Anyways, we got our face piece here. Um, I wish I could show it off better, but it looks like the lighting isn't perfect right now. Um... You got some stamps there. There's a stamp on the side that actually has a lot number. It says JNJ lot number C1-2. Bottom here we got the date stamp, which it is uh, February 1941, Goodyear, lot number P1. It's in really nice condition. Uh, the harness is in, pretty, is in really nice condition too. Uh, there's no problems with it. You know, all the buckles are intact still. Uh, the leather is, the, you know, the head pad's still flexible and everything. This entire mask is in nice condition. Let's see if I can show you that crack. I don't know. Um, there, you, there you go. You can kind of see it on camera there. You can see that it, it's, it, it looks worse than it really is. It doesn't go all the way through. It's kind of just on the outside of the rubber. And it, it's only on that one side. I've, I've inspected the rest of the face piece, and that's the only cracking on the face piece is just right there. So it's nothing major by any means. And uh, I think this face piece will clean up pretty well. It looks to just be really dirty. 
So um, I'll have to get this cleaned up here, and then in the next video you'll probably see it all nice and clean. Uh, but anyways, you got, you know, the front of the mask, it's, uh, you know, the eye lenses are a bit rusted, but that's nothing major. You can see the valve assembly there is in nice condition, and you got your canister right here, which is one of the relatively earlier canisters. So I guess I'll screw this back on here if I can. Alright, come on. I know you can get back on there. Alright, so, showing you off the carrier here, you got this carrier. Um... It's in not bad condition, it just sucks that the uh, the leg strap's been tore. Um, it doesn't look like the buckle's there either, so I probably won't be able to necessarily fix this carrier. Um, but otherwise, it looked like it was in pretty nice condition beforehand. Uh, you can see that issue stamp right there on the carrier, which I'm going to keep this carrier. Don't think I'm going to throw it away or anything. You know, it's original to the mask. I'm not going to throw it away. Um, you know, like the rest of the carrier is in nice condition, really, overall, but again, it just got that tore uh, waist strap, which kind of sucks. Um, I got my replacement carrier right here. Um, the, the stamps are a bit faded on this one, but it's in, you know, nice condition, though. It's, you know, the snaps are intact, it's got the gusset. Uh, this one was issued, too, it's got issued stamps right there. You got the back of the carrier, you know, the straps and whatever. Um, you know, the interior of the carrier, everything, you know, it's just whatever. Got the cans of anti dim, which you know they're. Uh, this one's a bit oxidized, but you know they're they're still anti dim cloth. So you know, I got plenty of those already, but it's uh, not bad to have more. Um, oh, I suppose I should show you the interior of the mask real quick. Um, and also, this video is getting pretty long, so I'll probably end up wrapping this up. You can see the head pad right there, and I'll fold over the harness, and I'll show you guys the interior, and I'll wrap up the video here. And then uh, here soon, after I get this cleaned up, I'll probably make a video on this amazing piece. Alright, so, here we got the interior of the mask. You know, it's in pretty decent condition besides being dirty. You know, you got your nose cup in there. Um, not, not, you know, not too much to note. It kind of just looks like a lightweight service mask's interior. Because that's essentially what this is. It's just a lightweight service mask, except with a chin-mounted canister and a slightly, diff a slightly modified head harness. Uh, anyway... Um, I think that'll pretty much wrap up this video, so I guess I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it was quite fun to make, and I hope you guys kind of enjoyed me, um, you know, unboxing this uh, for the first time here. I'm going to get this cleaned up, uh, and then I'll you'll see, probably see it in a video soon. So uh, thank you guys for watching, um, and uh, see you all soon.